Good morning, class. How are you today? Fine. Well, you are ready to start a new week and a new day. So today we are going to practice about numbers. Again, numbers. Okay? We are going to talk about numbers. Let me show you. Are we going to talk about these numbers? No. You already know these numbers. But these numbers are very important too, because these numbers um, tell us how many things are somewhere. Uh, these numbers give information about the amount of things. Okay, for instance, for example, here we have fifth grade A and fifth grade B. Fifth grade A, 18 and 22. 18 is giving us information about how many students are in fifth grade A. And 22, the number 22, give, um, gives us information about how many students are in fifth grade B. So there are 18 students in fifth grade A and 22 students in fifth grade B. So these numbers are also very important. But what is the difference between Numbers, these are cardinal numbers, and ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers is very easy, it's not complicated. These are very important because these numbers uh, show us the position or the order of things. It tells us who is first in the line, who is second in the line, who is third in the line, okay? So ordinal numbers are important. And ordinal numbers we use in words or we use in numbers. Here we have words and numbers. Okay, let's see now. Okay, here we have. The ordinal numbers in words. We got first, we have second, third, fourth, fifth, and because we're talking only about up to fifth, solo hasta el numero fifth, hasta el quinto puesto, we always say last, porque el fifth ahorita, ahorita es el último, pero siempre el que es el último se dice last. Yeah. Como hablamos solo de cinco, fifth is last. But look at the numbers. What do you see with the numbers? Do the numbers go alone? ¿Van los números solos? No. Of course. ¿Qué ven? What do you see? ¿Qué tiene cada número? What does each number have? Look at this one. First and first. You see? First lleva el número, la, la, ¿qué letras lleva? The letters, two letters. S-T. The two last letters of first. Then we have second. Second. The two last letters of second goes with the number two. Third. RD, the two last letters of third, takes the number three for third here. Then we have fourth. Okay, look at fourth and number fourth with the two last letters. Fifth with the two last letters. And I was telling you that fifth is the last also in la fila. Es el último, es the last. Okay, so, you see, so if you write number, number, the number first, you have to always use a SD. See, siempre va acompañado with two letters, va acompañado with two letters, second, two letters, so ordinal numbers always go, always, always take two letters. The last two letters from the word. Okay. 
So as ordinal numbers show the position of something, let's check this list. Here we have a position of some students. Here we have, look, I have in a classroom, I have here is uh, the desk and Anna's head, Tom, Pete, Sarah, and Sam. Look at this one. Can you tell me who is last in the row, in la fila? Who is last? Who is sitting last? Anna? Sarah? Or Sam? Sam is the last. Yes. See? No más abajo. No more. Sam is the last. Who is first? Anna is first. Who is third? Pete is third. Okay? So, these are in order. These students are sitting in order. So, Anna is first. The position now. Let me see. We have position of a student with the ordinal numbers. Anna is first. Tom is in second place. Pete is in third place. Sara is in the fourth place. And Sam is in the fourth place. So they are sitting in order. Sam is the last one in the row, el último en la fila. Okay, so if I ask you who sits first in the classroom in your row, you're going to think, um, I think first in fifth grade, A, I think first is on row number three is Martina, and in, in fifth grade B, on row number four, I think, think is Paulo who sits first. And in third, in fifth grade B, um, Joel sits last. He's the fifth in Paulo's row. Okay. And in fifth grade A, in the first row, I think uh, in the first row, in la primera fila, who sits last? Quien se sienta al último, who sits last, is Leonardo. I think Leonardo is fifth. Anyway, that's the order, okay? So that's what ordinal numbers do. That is the job. Esta es el, el, la función del ordinal numbers. Poner las cosas en orden. Nos dicen qué orden es. In qué posición está? Okay, I'm going to show you my markers. I have some markers here, and I'm going to show, give you the order of my markers. I'm going to order my markers, my colors. See here? Okay, so I have five markers, and I'm going to place them in a different size position. Okay, sorry. Let's look at this. Here we have. Which one is first? The blue is first. The black is second. The orange is in the third position. The red is in the fourth position. And the green is in the fifth position. The green is the last one. Last. I must. There is a, this is the last one. Okay. So this is the position of my markers. So I can line my markers like this or I can line my markers like this. Can you notice? Yeah, the red is going down. I'm sorry, but it's just like a little bit hard to handle this. Yeah. Okay, can you see? That's the position also. They're on a line or on a row. They're also on a line. Okay. So that's that. That's the that's the job of ordinal numbers. That's ordinal numbers are very important. Now, if you give me a minute, I'm going to do something. 
Okay, I'm going to let's go over the presentation. Yeah, here we have ordinal numbers, you already know. Shows the order. An ordinal number shows the order or the position of something. Look at this. We have mm, delicious, delicious cupcakes here. I guess we have orange, um, vanilla, strawberries, avocado, and chocolate, or pistachio. So the first one is, look at this, this is an order. The first one is the orange, the second one is the vanilla, the third one is the strawberries, strawberries, the fourth is the pistachio, and pistachio, and this one is the chocolate. These cupcakes are in order. Maybe this is the best. Well, all look delicious, right? Okay, so, and as, as well, as I was telling you before, ordinal numbers can be written in words or as numbers. See words, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, or last. And see the numbers? You see the numbers are taking the last two letters of the word. First, second, third, third, fourth, fourth, fifth, fifth. Or, como no tenemos más, fifth is the last. Are you clear with that? Good. Now, after this, I would like you to do something, some practice. What do you need to do? You are going to write an ordinal number, no word, a number under each flower. For instance, this, this one, which number are you going to write? The number, you're going to write number, the number is going to be first, one and SD. First, you're going to write the number, first, first. And the second flower, you're going to write, okay, and then the third flower and the fourth, and then you know, okay, you write the number. When you finish writing the number, you color the flowers, okay? Escribimos el número ordinal en cada flor. Y luego terminan de ordenar y pintan. Esa es una actividad, una practice for today. After you finish this practice, this is what we need to do. You are going to draw five fish. You're going to draw five fish. Five. So, you're going to color the first fish blue, the second fish orange, the third fish green, the fourth fish is going to be red, so the first one is blue, and the last fish is going to be yellow, where is my yellow? It's going to be yellow. Okay. This is what you are going to do. But where? Okay. I didn't write this down, but I'm going to write on the mail. This information, this, you're going to write on your notebook. You're going to, first, you're going to, you're going to write the date. Monday, March um, 30, 2020. Then you're going to write, you are going to write the title. This is, this is, this is what are you going to do today. On your notebook, you're going to write date and then title. You're going to write this information. An ordinal number shows the order or the position of things. You are going to draw your cupcakes. Yeah, I think you're going to make beautiful cupcakes. After you finish this, then you're going to write this information. 
Ordinal numbers can be written in words or as numbers. And you write the list of words and you write the list of numbers. Okay, so first you write the date. Second, you write the ordinal numbers, all this information. Third, you're going to write ordinal numbers. You could write, you write all this information with a beautiful handwriting. After this information, you are going to do this practice on your notebook. You're going to draw the five flowers and you're going to, you are going to order, order these flowers. Yeah. This one is, which position is this? In which position you write the number? Ordinal number. Yeah? Okay. Are you clear with this information? And uh, last, fourth, I think you're going, this is fourth, right? You are going to do this. You draw five fish and you're going to follow these instructions. What are you going to do first? What are you going to do second? and third, and fourth, and fifth. That's all for today. So when you finish, you just send a picture to me, and I would like to see how beautiful your work was. Okay, if I hope if there is something that is not clear, just write me an email and let me know. I will help you. Okay, class? So that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. See you tomorrow.